Hi everyone, this is a pick a card reading for who you will marry. Now we are specifically going to look into their physical features. So I'm talking eye colour, hair colour, what they look like in terms of their physique, um, skin complexion, um, any you know, unique characteristics about them, as well as their star sign. So yeah, we're going to go pretty in depth. So I hope you're excited in looking at this. But uh, yeah, it's going to be pretty good. And um, whether you know, you are looking to find out about male or female, you know, this can still resonate, which is um, obviously good. And yeah, so that's what I wanted to mention. We have these five beautiful piles, whichever one you're most drawn to is going to be the reading for you. So this is group one, group two, group three, four, and five. Got these stunning crystals, and maybe that helps you make the decision as to, you know, which one you're most interested in and which pile that you'd like to view. Of course, do like this video and comment down below, of course, you know, if it really does make sense to you and it resonates with you, which I hope it does. And yeah, I also wanted to mention that if you would like to win a free reading with me, check out the description box below since I do a giveaway every single month for a free reading, well actually five free readings. And then on the other side of that, there is the private paid readings, which I offer, you know, as and when you purchase it. So um, there's, yeah, the private personal readings, which are done within 12 to 24 hours with me. And they're done on the same day. So that's linked down below and all the information is also um, on my website as well, so definitely do check that out. And then also on my website, there are handmade intention manifesting items, which so many people, I'm talking thousands of people, have seen results of these items for different areas of your life, be it love, twin flame, soulmate, you know, reconciliation, um, healing, protection, strength, confidence, etc. So there's bracelets, necklaces, anklets, pom poms, tassels, embroidered cards, which you can put under your pillow, your wallet, or your purse. There is intention pouches as well. Um, face masks, divination coins, charms, pendulums, you know, so many different beautiful items, um, such as sage as well. Everything's listed down below. Everything's available on my website. <laughs> do check it out if you're interested. And uh, yeah, that is pretty much what we do have. So that is uh, what I wanted to mention to you. All right. So yeah, timestamps are down below for whichever group you would like to watch and what I'm going to do is I'm going to start first of all with group number one so I'm just going to move these to this side all right so we're going to start first of all with group one which we have right there which is nice so move this back a bit and we're also going to, actually, let me do the timestamp. All right, group number one, we're going to have a look into who you are going to marry. So I have here this pile, which has eye colour, hair colour, their physique, um, you know, different things about them, skin complexion. And we're also going to use tarot to get out their star sign. Okay, so... Let's have a look. So you've chosen this pile with a green crystal. So beautiful. Let's put it right here. Okay. And the question is, what do they look like? All right. So let's have a look. This is specifically for the person that you will marry. All right. So first and foremost, we have got here very tall. So in terms of their height, they're going to be tall. And not just any kind of tall, very, very tall. Okay, so, I mean, I, I can't really explain in numbers. Think about what you would consider as very tall. I mean, some of you might be like, oh, I mean, like, I consider like seven foot as tall. I mean, you know, I will just say like, okay, like maybe not like they're that tall, but they are going to be pretty, pretty tall to the point where you're like, okay, like they are really tall. Um, and some of you may be, you know, tall yourself, or you may be short, you know, so it's, it's going to be like your version of what, very tall is okay so they're going to be tall so in terms of skin color we have a couple of different options because people do have preferences in terms of this and I also have I look at my analytics and I've realized that many of you are so so it's, it's amazing actually the channel is so diverse and I love it so much and um, ultimately we have here two variations of the skin color okay so just keep in mind that it can vary based on your personal preferences remember that this is a general reading so it's one of those things as well we have here sand 
which is this skin color complexion right here. And then we also have bronze as well. And that is what we have, okay, in terms of the skin complexion color. Because, you know, everyone has their own preferences and uh, I just wanted to make sure that, you know, whichever direction you kind of sway in, you know, that's what happens. I think that you'll actually be really attracted to this, personality, this person's personality as well. So their looks really are a bonus for you and you'll find them really attractive regardless of, you know, regardless of anything, which I think is really, really wonderful as well. So that's what we have there. Now, the build... We have here skinny, okay, so they're tall and they are skinny. Then we have here, so their hair texture, we have curly, okay, so they seem to have curly hair. They have small lips. Their eye colour is dark brown. Okay, and then we have two variations of hair colour. Something tells me that they, they may from time to time like change up their hair. That's something I am seeing. Or perhaps with um, the sun sunshine or like sunlight. You know when sunlight hits your hair, sometimes it looks a different colour. It shows here that their hair colour could change in the sun, if that makes sense. So we have here mahogany hair colour. And we also have golden brown hair colour. So they stick into this sort of brown shades in regards to their hair. It could be that they dye their hair, you know, light brown to sometimes dark brown, dark brown to light brown, or that the the sun like naturally maybe it makes it look light brown in certain lights and then in darker light it looks dark brown. So there's that energy here of like a lot of like golden browns from what I'm seeing here. Um, even in regards to like their skin, skin complexion, like that beautiful like bronzy kind of you know, oh, it just, oh, it's like really like, um, reminds me just of like sunshine, like, you know, oh, it's really nice. Okay, anyways, um, so that's what I'm seeing. Like we definitely do have, you know, these beautiful like brown colors, even in regards to that eye color, like really like, you know, beautiful, like dark. Um, this reminds me of the phrase, like, you know, even if you're looking towards like women, for example, in regards to this reading, I just want to say like when I see this, I see like, you know how people stereotypically say, like, tall, dark, handsome? That's the kind of vibe that I get here, okay? Tall, dark, handsome. But, you know, it can also apply, of course it can apply to women. Like, why not, you know? So it's just, um, yeah, that's, that's what I'm seeing here. Okay, so let's go to the star signs and see what we pick up on. I have to say, like, this is really, you know, quite, uh, quite the vibe. All right, let's have a look. Of course there's no right or wrong, you know, like everyone is a human being and it's just more so that you can find out like who, <laughs> who this person is, you know what I mean? So that's what I see. Ah, oh, Wheel of Fortune. They're dominated by Jupiter. So that's something to keep in mind. It could be that this person's like really good work-wise at what they do. So... You know, when I think of tall people, I think of like, I, I don't just think of like sports or anything like that, but I also think of like glamour and I also think about, you know, um, them using their height in a way that is just really like empowering to them. So I feel like work-wise, they, they seem to be doing very well and um, they're definitely dominated by Jupiter. That's one thing to keep in mind. Very heavily dominated by Jupiter. So then there is that, you know, which is obviously quite significant and um, super strong in that sense as well, which obviously is, is quite significant. My phone just started ringing. Like, you know, I'm, I'm not going to like shut down the, so I'm just like holding it so that it just like stops ringing. Okay, it stopped ringing. Um, <laughs> I think that this person will, will, you know, be someone that also wants to call you and actually really just like want to talk to you and things like that as well. It's definitely something that we are picking up on which is obviously quite significant and um super strong in that sense so yeah it's one of those it's one of those things but I just feel like there's a good good vibe good energy here you know in that sense so it yeah it's one of those things I think that ultimately the messages here that I am picking up on is the fact that they're very highly ruled by Jupiter now that doesn't really tell you too much I think that Jupiter's Jupiter's day is Thursday, I think, so it could be that they're born on a Thursday. Or is it Wednesday? That's Jupiter's day. Oh, wait a second, let me Google that. I don't want to, like, feed you wrong information. Da, 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 Jupiter day. Jupiter. 
Jupiter's day of the week. There we go. Huh? Wait, oh, Thursday. Yeah, it is Thursday. Well, first of all, on Google, it just comes up with, like, um, I think the hours of, like, um, the length of the day. And I'm like, no, that's not what I want. And then I went to another website. Yeah, it is Thursday. Okay, so they could be born on a Thursday. Let's see. Star sign. I really want to know star sign. I won't be surprised at all. They seem to be ruled by Earth, which is obviously quite significant. So they could have Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn very high up in their chart. And it would make a lot of sense with the Wheel of Fortune because money is also known to be Earth and the Pentacles. So yeah, I definitely feel here that they're very good at their work. You see here, Three of Pentacles is also a work career orientated card, which just goes to show you that they're really, really good in regards to the work that they do and how they handle themselves in a work environment. They're genuinely very, very good at their work, which I think is obviously pretty significant. And um, yeah, they, they have a lot of uh, respect in regards to the work environment as well. So I think that's good. Just goes to show you that they're very serious about what they do and they enjoy what they do and they have a lot of respect from people around them as well in regards to what they do as well. So that's obviously really, really powerful. So yeah, Earth. They're ruled by Earth from what I see here. Now, they could technically have Earth in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, but the birth chart is ruled by Earth from what I see. Okay, so Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. There's some. There's a very strong link to them in regards to the day Thursday. Okay, it could be that they're born on Thursday or they have like, you know, their lucky day is Thursday or their favourite day of the week is Thursday or they always look forward to Thursdays. But the Wheel of Fortune shows that they're financially very stable. They're very good in regards to their career and their height has huge advantages when it comes to their work as well. So you see this person actually is standing on something and like looks a lot taller. That's interesting to me as well. Okay, so it's really connecting very significantly. Earth is also known to be green, so that's also quite, you know, quite significant. I mean, yeah, green and blue, but you, you get my point. <laughs> like, you know, green is the colour of the nature and the heart chakra, that earthy elements, earthy vibes that we pick up on. So that's what we have literally right there. All right, so this is what they look like or what they yeah what they look like and I hope this really helped you group one of course if it resonates with you let me know in the comment section below don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already check out the description box below for information on private paid readings reading giveaway and of course intention items which are on my website and do take care as well all right so we now go to the next group okay so if I just put these here, and this here, and this here. All right, group number two. All right, group number two. What do they look like? So you've chosen this um, pile, okay, so your future spouse, the person you're going to marry, what do they look like? You've chosen this beautiful blue crystal, let's put it there, and I have a pile of cards here, and we're going to see, <laughs> for like the third time, what do they look like? So let's have a look, and I'm also going to shuffle tarot cards out to see what their star sign is, so we'll definitely have a look at that as well. All right, so let's begin group two. So the first card here is very small, so in regards to their height, they are shorter from what I'm seeing, okay? So that's something to keep in mind. Now, for skin colour, I have two variations here, um, which, you know, this is a general reading, so do keep that in mind. And, you know, people do have their own preferences when it comes to this. Some people have no preference, you know, but I do have two variations in terms of skin colour. Just, just wanted to let you know that in terms of complexion. So we have here almond, and we also have a limestone. So these are the shades that we have there. All right. Both, both very beautiful. You know, there's no right or wrong at all it's just that what we're seeing in regards to the person um but yeah for some of you, you know this may be someone who is short but has this kind of skin complexion and for some of you could be short that has this kind of skin complexion because this is going to be the person you marry and not everybody's going to marry the same kind of looking person does that make sense so this will really vary also on 
the person that comes to you. It could be like this, it could be like this, you know. So we also have here as well that they are lean. So their build is lean, okay? And that is what we have there. So they're small, but they're lean, which is interesting. Then we also have here, their hair texture is straight. So they have straight hair. And then we have here piercings. So they may have some piercings. They could have their ears pierced or other parts of their body pierced, but they do have piercings from what I see. Then we have here their eye color, which is green. Okay, so they have green eyes and their hair color. So we have here artificial color. Now this means that they may have, you know, a very similar hair color to this, but artificial color means that they may dye their hair, they may get highlights, right? Their hair may get bleached in the in the sunlight, um, you know, every every summer or, you know, from time to time, they may change up their hair color. They may, um, you know, box dye it, bleach it, like do something to their hair. So they do have a tendency to change up their hair with artificial color. Okay, so that's what we see there. I mean, it could also be that they change it into lots of different types of colors, but in general, like they could just be dyeing their hair. Does, does that make sense? That's one thing that I am also seeing here as well. Um, so yeah, that's what we've got there. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to shuffle out their star sign. I'm gonna see what their star sign is. And maybe some more information on them as well, of course. So let's do that. Ooh, the blue with the blue. The King of Cups. Oh, Queen of Cups. Okay, so it's a, there's definitely water energy, right? Because as soon as I saw that, I was like, the blue with the blue. So there's a very, very strong water energy here that's present. So they're going to be a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. And they are a very proud Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. So of course, that just makes so much sense, doesn't it, with that. So um, yeah, I mean, this really just goes to show that they're very proud of who they are. They're very proud of themselves, what they look like, how they present themselves. They are very emotionally open as well, from what I can pick up on. They're definitely not someone who's, you know, scared to be open emotionally or anything like that um they are just very very like proud of themselves from what i see because they could have gone through like some difficult moments in the past but they ultimately just know what they want and i also just feel here that they're pretty they're pretty open you know they're not like extremely closed off or like running in the opposite direction or anything like that like they know what they want and they know which direction they want to go in which is obviously pretty strong as well so there's a pretty good energy here that I am that I am picking up on, which is yeah, pretty pretty significant, I would say. So I just feel like there's quite a powerful vibe, a very powerful energy here um, in this sense. So yeah, what I would definitely say, and what I do feel is very, very important and very, very vital, um, is ultimately the fact that strong water, strong water, and you get along with them very well. They're emotionally very considerate of what you have to say, what you want to do, um, how you want to go about things. They will always consider your emotions in the mix. They're never going to like emotionally invalidate you because they care so much about what you're doing, how you are, you know, things like that. It really just means a lot to them. And that's one of the biggest things that I do see is that they just don't want to, you know, like, Go in the opposite direction or anything like that like they really just want to be there for you and uh move things along with you what more can i say i mean you've got counterparts here right it just goes to show that you're going to get on very well with you yourself but guess what they get on very well with themselves and also other people get on very well with them as well because again they're just so considerate and so kind so caring they're life partner material and i think that that just goes to show that that will give you a lot of confidence actually being with them, you know, because you just pick up like, wow, this is the kind of person that I actually want to be with, the kind of person I want to settle with, and they make me feel very, very happy and content as well, because they make you feel good, you know, they're not going to make you feel bad or terrible about being yourself, they're going to make you feel so good and so happy and so uplifted. And that is the real deal. It is, right? Because that ultimately makes you feel so good. So yeah, 
<laughs> they're very very nice very very nice my camera looks so dark today like oh oops i was like knocked over everything over there's like such beautiful natural lighting outside and the camera is just making everything look really dark today but that's okay i guess that's just it looks like it's um night here and day outside <laughs> Ah, oh. anyways, um, well actually, I guess with the stars as well, it kind of is, it is night, isn't it? So, yeah, that is what I'm seeing here. Um, so of course, if this resonated with you, let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Um, check out the description box below for information on private paid readings, free reading giveaway, and of course, intention items, which are on my website as well. And definitely do take care as well. All right, so now we go to the next group. So I'm taking this crystal, putting it here. I take this and put it here. All right. I take this and put it here. <laughs> oh, okay. Second. All right, group number three. Let's have a look and see what do they look like. Your future spouse. We're looking at hair color, eye color, skin complexion, um, their height. We are looking at many, many things. <laughs> many, many things. All right, so let's have a look. You've chosen this pile, uh, group three, with this beautiful crystal. It's like a white, like iridescent style crystal. I'll put it right here. And then your question, which we're going to look into. What do they look like? Your future spouse. Okay, so let's have a look. So first we have here that they are small. So in terms of their height, they are, they're small. Like, I feel like there's an energy here of, like, them being quite petite, I would say. Petite, I think, is a good word to use. Um, and, yeah, they're, like, you know, small. <laughs> How else do I describe it? Um, but, yeah, that's what we see. And then we have here two variations for, like, the skin colour. So, um, yeah, something to keep in mind. Because it is a general reading, you know. And um, it just goes to show that this person can be small. And they may have, like, a porcelain skin colour, as we see here. Or they may have, like, more of, like, a honey skin colour. And also it could depend also, you know, from when it's, like, summer and when it's winter. Um, from what I see. But I just see that here. Because, um, you know, people do have preferences in this side. And I have a very diverse audience as well. So... Obviously, you know, it really does depend. So that's what I'm seeing here because, you know, it's, it's not just like one particular person that everyone's going to end up with. There are variations, but this is the only variation actually in the reading. So the skin colour is the only variation that I have. Like everything else, like hair colour, eye colour, that's very much so like just one card, if that makes sense. So that's what we have here, honey and porcelain. And then we have got... Build curvy actually let's put that there let's put their build here okay so they're they're small they're petite but they're also curvy but they're still like small you know and then we have here as small as in like probably height wise I think they're short you're right that's probably the best way for me to put it I know also that these two um skin complexions are not the most diverse what I meant was that my audience is quite diverse um the other groups have much more diversity in terms of the skin complexions as well I just wanted to like you know make sure that was known um and then we have here hair texture so they have wavy hair from what I see here glasses it's potential that they have glasses now they could also be you know contact glass wearer as well that's something that I am picking up on and then in terms of their eye color we've got here light blue and then for hair color we have got so they have blue eyes and for their hair colour, we've got blonde and also medium grey. So that's what we have right here. I know that's not the most like blonde looking colour in the entire world, but, um, you know, envision blonde. I mean, blonde actually can be, there's so many types of blonde, right? So many types. 
but uh, this is what I'm seeing. Now it could also be that they have like blonde highlights in their hair, so keep that in mind. Um, they could, you know, have their ends dyed blonde, or they could have been blonde before, so there's definitely something about their sort of like actual colour being blonde, or that they are blonde right now. There's a very blonde energy here, and we've also got medium grey as well, so yeah, they may have, you know, you can also get like platinum blonde as well, right, which also looks quite like whitish grey, which is actually very beautiful, but yeah, that's what we have there, okay, so that's what we've got in terms of their hair colour, where they could have like bleached it into that colour, so that's what we've got there. So now let's look at the star signs with the tarot cards and see what other information we can get in regards to them. Oh my god, it looks so dark on my camera. I'm like freaking out about this because it, it usually doesn't always do this. Okay, there we go, see the lighting changed, okay. I'm just going to keep it like that for now, let's move this up a bit. Do, 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 do. All right, so we've got the Ace of Swords, Six of Pentacles, and the Six of Cups. I'm seeing a very like strong Libra energy here. Okay, so you're probably wondering like, how the hell are you seeing Libra just with these three? Um, you got two sixes, right? That shows balance. Libra is about balance. You've got here the Six of Pentacles with this person holding the scales. The scales is Libra. And you've got air energy, which is also Libra. I mean, you know, air energy can be lots of different signs, but for me, when I look at this entire three set of cards, I see a very strong Libra energy. So I feel like they've got Libra in their Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus sign. So definitely keep that in mind, but I'm seeing very strong Libra. Aside from that, I am also seeing there could be dominant with some earth and water also in their chart as well. So do keep that in mind. So the earth would be Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, again, somewhere in their sun, moon, rising, Venus signs. And then water is the Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, again, somewhere in their sun, moon, rising, by Venus signs. But very dominant Libra. That's something I want to definitely mention here. A very, very dominant Libra indeed, which is interesting with those two sixes and also the Ace of Swords. Very, very powerful indeed. Now, other information in regards to them, which I think we should definitely talk about, is the fact that they're a very balanced person, very calm, very giving. They're, this is the kind of person that would give you what they have just to make you feel happy. So they're very, very giving. They're very attentive, attentive, attentive. They pay attention, okay? They pay attention to your needs and your wants and the things that make you feel happy, the things that make you feel sad, the things that you want, right? And they're also very driven in regards to money. They may have like their own little side hustle on the side, you know, they work very, very hard um, and they're also super, super kind and very, very caring as well. So this person is, is someone who genuinely just works really hard. They put themselves you know, in, in places where, you know, sometimes it's not comfortable, but it's really incredible for their growth. So they do think about things from the perspective of, like, personal growth and things like that. So they, they know what they want to achieve in their life, and they will absolutely go for it and just, you know, absolutely make it happen, which is something we do see here as well. And I think that that's ultimately one of the most, 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 most powerful things. And, uh, yeah, very very important in the grand scheme of things so I just feel like that's just ultimately like the most yeah most vital thing in the whole wide world so yeah what I would say is that for sure very very powerful powerful energy here of them just being very balanced very kind very romantic right they're like the kind of person to like set up surprises for you um, make things comfortable for you, if anyone ever said something about you, they would, like, stand up for you, you know, and I know that you would also be very kind and caring and respectful towards them as well. Communication seems to be great, so that's another thing. Also, you know, this very dominant Libra energy is ruled by Venus, so just goes to show as well that the the Venus energy is very powerful. Now, Venus also rules over another sign, which is Taurus, right, so I did mention, like, Earth, Air, water. In fact, they've also got that Taurus energy there. The Venus energy is very powerful, you know, they are very romantic, they're very kind, very caring, they think about people, they think about, you know, what they want in the future, they are very genuine, very kind, and extremely, extremely caring and mutual, so that's something that you love, is that they're just so genuine, you know, they, like, never go against their words. If they say something, oh, you best believe that they will stick to their word, and 
do what they say that they said that they'll do. <laughs> Does that make sense? They'll, they'll do what they said. Yeah, they'll, they'll do. Very, very reliable, right? And I think that in this day and age, like sometimes it's hard to find reliable people. It really is, isn't it? Um, so yeah, they're really reliable. If they say they, they want to turn up on this time, they will turn up on that time, you know? And I think that that's just really significant as well, is that they're very proactive and productive and kind and caring and it's it's a good vibe it's a really good energy and I think that ultimately that just absolutely goes to show doesn't it so yeah it's a good it's a good vibe all right well they're romantic they're kind they're caring they're mature from what I see very balanced um, very successful as well actually in regards to their work as well so they take great pride in their work but they're also like super kind and very very generous as well so I just think that that's such a lovely thing um, really I, I just feel like that's such a nice quality for people you know to have but it's, it's genuinely so nice they're very transparent as well with things and actually do you know what you have this crystal which is beautiful it's like this white crystal which has got like, these reflex which go different colors like sometimes it looks pink blue purple green yellow and so it's holographic it just goes to show that they have so many beautiful sides to them but they are consistent and I think that's the most important thing here is that they are very consistent so this is your reading group number three of course if this resonated with you let me know in the comment section below don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already check out the description box below for information on private paid readings free reading giveaway and of course intention items which are on my website and do take care as well <laughs> all right so let's take away these cards okay let's move this forward a bit All right, so let's have a look, group number four, and see what is coming through. So we have got here this pile, which you've chosen with the pink crystal. Put that right here. And then, of course, we're going to be having a look into what do they look like. So this is going to be for the person that you will marry, um, your future spouse. And let's have a look. Okay, so let's begin. First of all, we have got here medium height okay so they have medium height Jim's gonna do that okay and then we have got here so we have two variations in terms of a skin color and complexion because you know people have their own preferences but also um, you know there's not just like one exact kind of person that all of you <laughs> for group number four are all going to like end up being with you know so I think that that's really important for me to let you know sorry did I mention your group number three I meant group number four so yeah um yeah that's what I see here you know so I think that that's really important for, for you to know as well so yeah there are two options that we're seeing okay and basically what will happen is that the person that you do marry will be for sure medium in height but also they they may have like um, a sienna skin color or they could have an espresso skin color right that's what i mean here so that's what we have there and then we have got here their build which is average okay so that is the the build of their like physique from what we're seeing is it's average and then we have here short hair Okay, so this is like this um, hair texture slash length, and it seems to be short. And then we have here, tattoos. So they may have a tattoo, they may have two, they may have more. It could be a little, it could be a huge, you know, they do have a tattoo at least from what I'm picking up on. Okay, and then we have here, eye colour so they have caramel eyes what we see I feel like they change in lights so do keep that in mind there the eyes sometimes could appear a lot darker and then for example in you know how in sunlight eye colour hair colour can kind of sort of change that's what I see here um so yeah they do have caramel eyes from what I see and then we've got light brown hair 
and we've also got Ash Blonde hair colour. So their hair colour is also something that we have two options for. It could be that they um, dye their hair, it could be that they have two different shades of colour in their hair, you know, because some people do dye their hair, it could be that the sun sort of bleaches parts of their hair as well, which is very, very common. I mean, they do have short hair, but I do feel as well that, um, you know, they may from time to time also bleach their hair or change their change up their hair colour, something that I'm seeing, but it could be one or the other. So just do keep that in mind as well, because, you know, with environmental factors, there are like certain things that you, you can change, you know. Um, for example, some people like to tan, you know, some people like to wear contact lenses most of the time, um, coloured contact lenses. Some people like to of course, you know, some people actually, like, surgically change their eye colour, which is, like, oh my god, like, how, like, how do they do that? Like, like, seems so scary, but, you know, of course, like, people do change up their looks and things like that, so it's something to also keep in mind, um, but yeah, that's something we are seeing here, um, which can be an option, like, a potential of, you know, what happens here. Okay, so, now that we've got what they look like, let's have a look at their star sign and get some additional information on personality, um, star sign, etc., so let's have a look. Page of Wands. Whoops. <laughs> My thumb is literally just on the Page of Wands. Okay, Page of Wands. And then you've also got here as well the Three of Pentacles. So Fire and Earth, they're very, very much so dominated by. Okay, so I very much so feel here that they may have, you know, a fire sign um, very high up in their chart as well as Earth high up in their chart. They could be more dominated by fire. So Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign could be more so fire. And then, you know, more down their chart, they could be more earth related, if that makes sense. So that's really what I'm seeing here in regards to their signs. They seem to be very, very creative. We also have here this pink crystal as well. So I definitely feel like, you know, again, there's like a lot of creativity here. There's like sort of some feminine energies. And so what I mean by this is, you know how there are stereotypical things, right? which technically like stereotypical things, it doesn't always mean everything. You know, like there are, for example, there are men that love beauty, there are men that work in fashion, there are men that are hairdressers. And you know how like so stereotypically people are like, nah, that's like stuff women do. And it's like, it's not true, right? It can be for everyone. And so it could be that, you know, um, let's say, for example, this is a man who like loves fashion, for example, or, you know, it depends on, of course, who you're wanting to find out, if you're trying to find out about a woman, this could be a woman who loves cars, for example, you know, so it just kind of goes to show here that they do have this more, like, kind of, like, feminine side, but they sort of go in that direction. I guess the whole, like, women liking cars thing is not necessarily, like, the most, the greatest explanation, but I just wanted to give you an explanation from the other side, so I just feel like this person is more feminine, so, for example, if this is a woman, you know, just loves to be very feminine, um, and just is much more drawn to more feminine things. If it's a man, again, could, you know, could really have interest in things like flowers, could really have an interest in things like cooking, you know, that are stereotypically, over the history, these are things that a lot of, like, women have been tied to, right? So that's something that I'm really trying to say. <laughs> Doesn't mean it's right or wrong or anything. Um, it's actually really nice, you know, so of course that's what I'm trying to get to you in that sense. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a good thing, it's nice, you know, they could be creative, they may like things like, I don't know, like knitting or sewing, um, you know, fashion or grooming, things like that, you know what I mean? So um, that's definitely, you know, a big part of them as well. And I do feel like as well, in terms of like emotions as well, they could be very good at showing their emotions and caring about others and being really, you know, nice towards others as well in that sense, which I think is just really, really lovely um, in the grand scheme of things. So I think, yeah, I think that it's genuinely just wonderful. Um, Three of Pentacles, you know, teamwork, collaboration, that's the kind of vibe that I am getting there, which is obviously pretty significant as well. So they're very, very good at their work they do have like this sort of like feminine side to them but there are certain things that they do enjoy and that is totally totally cool right because otherwise <laughs> I mean if, if that's not something you like then of course you won't be marrying them but you would love that side to them from what I see so obviously that's um yeah really wonderful but um yeah that's that's what I'm seeing here which is which is nice yeah yep 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 Yep, yep, yep. I really think 
like and I also really really feel that they are very very genuine like they are someone that people can get on with so well especially when I look at the energies of the three of pentacles right they really just get on so well with people around them and people have a lot of respect towards them as well from what I'm seeing so it just seems to me like you know they they do work very very well they do everything that they want to in a very good manner. They're an excellent communicator. They'll always get everything off of their chest in a way that makes you feel like, okay, right, so I know where I stand with this person. You're never going to think to yourself, wait a second, I don't know what they're on about. You know, you'll never kind of think that way. You always think like, okay, like I know where I stand with them. I know how they feel about me. I know where things are going. So you'll feel very content, I would say in that manner and you would also feel very you know very very happy with where things are going and where things are headed you're not going to think to yourself like oh my god like what's going to happen here what is like where you know how <laughs> nothing like that so that's one of the things that I definitely do pick up on here is that you'll feel pretty happy um you know in the grand scheme of things and very fulfilled as well in like the overall context of things as well <laughs> so yeah that is basically what I'm seeing it's um you know I really just feel here that there's quite a powerful energy of you really getting to a place where you just feel really really happy and content and fulfilled with this person because they make you feel good because they also make other people feel good and it's not that they do that because they're insecure within themselves. No, I think they, they do this because that's just how they've grown up. You know, they they seem to have like a very solid foundation within themselves and they know how to treat people and they know how to treat people because they know that they don't want to be treated like that. So they naturally have it in them to treat people well. <laughs> that's the biggest thing, right? Really, like the most important thing in the entire world is that they treat people well because they know what it's like not to be treated well which obviously is is uh, for sure like really vital so yeah that's basically what I am seeing here so obviously you know if this already has resonated with you please do you know like this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already of course check out the description box below for information on private paid readings reading giveaway um the yeah the private page reading free reading giveaway intention items which are on my website as well if you are interested everything is down below um everything is of course linked there and yeah definitely do take care group number four i hope that this resonated and gave you lots of clarity and that is what we do have here all right so that's what we've got there and now i'm going to go to the last group last but never least i always feel right last but never least okay <laughs> so let's take these away Wow, that, that crystal colour is so beautiful. So beautiful. Alright, group number five. This is your reading with me for who will you marry, your future spouse. We're going to be looking into things like height, eye colour, hair colour, their physique, um, their star sign, a couple of personality traits as well which we will get out with the tarot cards and really see exactly what is coming through, which is actually very, very exciting, I have to say. So I hope you are interested. I hope you are intrigued and we will take a look and see what's coming through. Okay, so let's have a look and see. You have chosen this beautiful blue crystal. So I'm just going to put that right there. And then you also have here the cards. <laughs> what do they look like? So let's have a look. So first we have here tall. 
Okay, so their height is tall. Very, like, very self-explanatory, you know, like, honestly, it didn't take more to, like, try and figure it out, but, uh, yeah, so they are tall, so they have some pretty good height, it seems like, and then we also have, as well, one second, okay, we have it here, the skin colour, so, obviously, you know, this is a general reading and people do have preferences. Some people don't have preferences at all, but um, I do have two variations just for the skin color, so just keep that in mind. And um, one is rose beige, and the other one here is this beautiful chestnut. All right, so that's what we have right there. So I'm gonna put those there. For some of you, it may be someone who's tall who has more of a rose beige complexion. And for some of you, it's a tall person who has more of this chestnut complexion. All right, and then we have got here, their build, so muscular, so they are quite muscular, they do have muscles as we see that, and then we also have here their hair texture slash length, so chin length is what it says right here, so it is technically I guess short, right? That's what we have there, then we have here perfect smile, so they have a really really nice smile, I think that you'd be like wow, like their teeth are, teeth are really lovely it seems, and their smile is like very, very nice. I mean, it makes you feel good, you know? So that's that's the one thing that I see here is that their, their smile and how they uh, gesture their expressions to you is something that you really genuinely do like a lot from what I'm picking up on. And then we have got here, eye color, golden brown. Okay, so the golden brown eye color. And then we have here two variations for hair colour. So one is black, okay, jet, jet black hair. And then the other one here is light golden brown. All right, so that's what we have. Now, some of you, they may have black hair and they may have some like light golden blonde hair highlights, um, <laughs> hair highlights put through it. There we go. <laughs> and then for some of um, them, they may have like natural, like very light golden brown hair golden blonde hair, oh my goodness, um, but they've actually dyed it black, for example, so, like, that's one of the things that I am seeing, is it really does vary, um, either they have black, or they have light golden blonde, or they may have naturally been having black hair, and then they get, like, highlights, or they've actually completely transformed it and changed it to light golden blonde, or they had light golden blonde hair, and they just wanted to really go, like, extreme, like, dark, you know, dark hair, so just keep in mind, that that is basically what we're seeing in that regard. Um, yeah, so that's the biggest thing that I am picking up on, which obviously is like really, really significant and pretty exciting, I would say. So yeah, that's literally what we do, what we do have right there. Ooh, okay, so. This is interesting, the blue, right? Maybe one of their favourite colours is blue. I don't know why, I was just looking at the crystal, I was like, maybe they really like this blue colour. It's like a royal blue. Okay, so let's have a look at star sign and more personality traits and qualities and see what's coming through on that side of things. Ooh, Wheel of Fortune. Okay, uh, let's see what else we have. Right, so. This is fascinating in so many ways because the Wheel of Fortune is Jupiter, all right? So Jupiter is about money. Jupiter is also about Earth and like pentacles, right? And we know that it is about that kind of energy. So this shows here that they're very driven in terms of their work. They're very driven in regards to doing good work. And they're also very driven when it comes to uh, money, stability, matters of the home, you know, finances in that sense. They're very responsible as well from how it shows on the cards where they like to, you know, do things that make them feel good. They like to do things that make them feel, you know, quite excited in the grand scheme of things. And they really, really do very, very much so like to, um, what's the word? They like stability, okay? So that's something to keep in mind. Now, one thing I will say is I am not at all surprised that you've got so much Earth energy here, right? So Jupiter, 
is very powerful um, because it ultimately does represent the fact that they do have a lot of financial stability and this is something that I think that they have tried to build up also because of their future. You know, they really do want a beautiful future where they can, you know, live life on their own terms, do the things that they want to do. They don't have to like answer back to everyone or do everything according to what everyone else wants to do. You know, they can live their own like, best life, enjoy their life, have that happiness, have that joy. And that's the biggest thing I see here, especially with the 10 of pentacles. We have a strong earth energy and also actually you have Virgo. Okay, so there's a very strong Virgo energy, which we know Virgo is earth as well. So Virgo is very, very dominant here and rightly so because in all honesty, this energy literally does speak volumes, absolute volumes, especially with the 10 of pentacles. So I just feel like they're ready for a future. They can see a future and they just feel like they know what they want in life and they know which direction they also want to go in. They're not someone who is unsure. This is not someone who is, let's say, just gonna like run towards the first thing that shows them interest, no. They are quite picky, I would say as well. So this Virgo energy, I mean, some of them are like literally a sun sign Virgo, but some of them may have Virgo in their moon or their rising or their Venus sign very very dominant in this Virgo energy but they're also ruled by Virgo as well like sometimes you know even if your sun sign isn't a Virgo you might be ruled more by your moon sign and so if their moon sign say for example isn't Virgo then that just goes to show that it's their more dominant sign so what I do see here is that really the fact that they are quite picky and they like to be organized, they like to do things well, they are focused on stability, like you know it freaks them out if they feel like oh my god I'm not going down the right path, like okay like how should I do this and how should I do that, you know they're very very organized and they are very careful but they're also, I think they're careful more so in a way to protect themselves, that's the one thing that I'm seeing, it's not so much so that they're careful and then they're just like reckless in other ways, you know what I mean? Um, what's the word? Uh, the phrase is penny wise pound foolish. That's what we say here, like penny wise pound foolish, where someone is like, you know, loses like so much money, but then when it comes to pennies, they like become really stingy. Um, that's not this person at all. They just like to be very mindful of certain things, but they're also very like sharing from what I see, because it does show here with the Wheel of Fortune and the Ten of Pentacles that they, they want to, you know, share with their family and share happiness, joy, fulfillment, appreciate, you know, have this appreciation with others. And I think that's something that's really coming through super, super strong is that they just want, you know, a ton of happiness and joy. And they just want to, you know, go down a path which gives them tons of happiness and fulfillment. So it's one of the biggest things that I do see here is that they are definitely in a place which will give them um, for sure so much more and yeah I just feel like there's a good vibe you know like a really really good vibe and a really good great energy <laughs> really good great energy here of you know this happiness and joy that sort of follows through in that sense so yeah that is basically what I'm seeing I just feel like the Virgo energy is very, very dominant, and I also feel with the Hermit as well, this is someone that does think a lot, and so, you know, they, they think a lot, but they come up with great ideas, they are, they like to be comfortable as well, from what I see here, and they do love to, you know, be in their home environment, like their home environment recharges them, and that's what you see here with the Ten of Pentacles, right? They love their home environment, they love their family, they just love to be around people that make them feel really good and they just really appreciate genuine relationships and connections. They like to build bonds with people and, you know, it's not to say like this person will suffocate you, but it's more so like, you know, they just enjoy their own time and their own space and their own energy and, you know, they're not heavily reliant on you. It's like they do also rely on themselves and I think that that goes to show that they're a very healthy person to be around. You know, they don't need you 24-7, but at the same time, they appreciate everything that you would give to them everything that you would bring to them and I think at the end of the day that's just a very very beautiful thing that they have genuine appreciation for all things in life and they love 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 their family and they just want you know a beautiful home with a wonderful family and they want to go traveling and enjoy their life wow we've got, I'm getting so much information here uh, but you know I feel like because they have saved up a lot of money 
and they're working towards a lot of their goals here as well. The one thing with the Wheel of Fortune shows that the money that they do save up, they want to share it. You know, they want to build a beautiful future with a beautiful home with a wonderful person, you know, that they love so much and they want to take it in a direction that makes them feel good, makes them feel happy, makes them feel content and just gives them so much more of that joy and fulfillment that they are looking for, which they know that they will get. So they're very hopeful, but also right now I feel like they're like really working towards their goals and they're working towards the things that they they want to do. That's something that's really just very important for them is that they want to do all of those like amazing things that, um, that they've been dreaming about, but also they want to do it with their life partner. So there's a lot of things that I feel that they will think like, oh, I want to do that, you know, when I find my life partner, I want to do that when I, you know, come across the right person, I want to do that when, you know, I can do that with my like children, for example. So, um, you know, and that's the thing that I really see here um, very much. So now I know that not everybody does want children, but it could be that they want to do it with you, you know. So that's something I see. It's not like they're putting things off, but there's definitely like some experiences that they really just want to do with their life partner um, and not just, you know, like anyone else. So they really do have a lot of, um, what's the word? I don't want to say attachment, but they have a lot of like, they're very, they think in a way which is, you know, them thinking very like genuine way where they really just want to reserve like special energy and special space for you of things that they would just not do with anyone else but you if that makes any sense because you'd be very very special to them and that's the kind of way I see it as well like they always think like no I don't I don't just want to do this now I want to do this with my life partner you know because that's my person that's the person that I'm going to reserve this energy for and with and technically yeah you could be like well <laughs> you don't have to reserve energy for someone but well they want to and uh, you know they they are definitely someone who's like quite kind and caring and strong yet still very very powerful yet still quite sensitive as well and I think that that's really ultimately a power you know where it's like sensitive but strong I think that, that really is power because vulnerability is also power when you think about it but they have a lot of that you know power within themselves so yeah I feel like you know they may have their own like businesses or things like that that they're working on um because we do see the ten of pentacles with the wheel of fortune these are two tens which shows that they are absolutely ready well, they're getting ready for the right person to come into their life. And ultimately, you know, when that right person comes, they just like completely, you know, let you in. And um, well, over the course of time, then they completely let you in and you'll just feel really, really happy and very content and very well like taken care of from what I see, where you just feel really happy and fulfilled in that sense and just really genuinely so attracted to them and feeling really respected as well by them, where you feel super happy and content and fulfilled from what I see, so it's, it's a good energy, it's a nice energy, it's progressive energy, um, it all comes together in a way that gives you so much happiness and fulfillment and joy, and I think that ultimately that is one of the things that I do pick up on, is that you'll just feel like this person gets you, they understand you, and they want the same level of responsibility and stability. They really do want someone who is responsible, and someone who's just very understanding and kind and caring. Don't get me wrong, this person doesn't, I know that might sound a little bit boring the way I'm describing them, but they're really not, you know. Um, the foundation of themselves is very loyal, stable, and understanding. But they also, I will say one thing, they're also super funny and super, uh, you know, they're just super, like, um, understanding and humorous as well so it's not like they're like completely serious to the point where you're just like oh nothing's funny here like it's not you know it's, it's too serious no no you will find that they are funny it's just that they open themselves up to the right people and not just anyone so that's definitely something to keep in mind as well is that they're not just like you know happy snappy to everyone um it takes time for them to open up but once they do it's just you know it's a it's a whole new world a whole new world <laughs> so that's really what I'm seeing there at group number five so yeah this is basically your reading um of course do let me know how this resonated with you oh we also see a lot of blue in these cards as well remember I did mention with that crystal as well that their favorite color could be blue so of course do let me know um of, of course if this resonated with you comment down below don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and do also check out the description box below
for all the information on the private paid readings, the free reading giveaway, which I of course do. They're done within 12 to 24 hours on the same day with me, of course, so do check it out down below if you're interested. And of course, all of the hand made intention items are also available on my website if you're interested in those as well. Take care everyone. Bye!